COVID-19 continues to spread in our community at church and schools and even workplaces. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley is digging deeper into where that spread is happening the most. She joins us live. And Colleen, you spoke with someone on the front lines. Yeah, Marius, I actually spoke with an ER doctor who said they are still seeing cases that COVID-19 is very much active in our community. And then at this point, coming into hospitals, they're seeing a resurgence of cases in some groups in some settings. So I wanted to take a closer look at the number. I looked at the cluster data from DHHS. Remember, a cluster is five or more cases. So the greatest number of clusters is on college campuses. That is followed by clusters popping up after religious services and then in manufacturing plants. However, according to DHHS, the cases at manufacturing plants have dropped since peaking in the summer, whereas cases associated with clusters at religious and social gatherings like parties or weddings has increased. The doctor I spoke with says everyone should take that as a reminder to wear a mask, social distance, and wash their hands. I know that everyone's tired. Our staff are tired. Um, those that you talk in the community, my neighbors are tired. Um, but I think the, the rules are there. The guidance is there um, based on sound evidence. And, you know, it, especially what I worry about is with the cold weather months coming is people being indoors and having gatherings. Well, that doctor is also really concerned, saying he's seeing more patients being admitted to hospitals without any pre-existing conditions. So coming up at 6 o'clock, I'm going to walk you through the numbers in more detail, and I'm going to show you which clusters have the most cases associated with them and why this Raleigh church is taking steps to protect its members tonight. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.